Hey everybody, it's Zach from the Midnight Jamboree. It's Friday and I'm going to share an unboxing with you of a very special thing that I got this week. The Warlock set from Vestron. Oh my goodness. A Warlock. These movies, these movies are astounding. So as you can see, it comes in this lovely slip cover here. Just look at the art that's on here. Just, just beautiful. You got some, there's Julian Sands, Richard E. Grant action on there. There's Bruce Pan's on there too. So, you know, you can kind of see it does a pretty good workup of all the uh, special features and everything like that on here. I do absolutely love that Warlock on, is on here in uh, four different just colors and the fonts and everything like that. So, this is a two disc set. I think that that's a great thing. I, I slightly wish it was a three disc set, but I guess beggars can't really be choosers when the first Warlock is on a thing all of its own. So there's some great stuff that came along with this. So for the first and second movie, there's a brand new commentary from their respective directors. And we see on here, yeah, Julian Sands came back to do an interview for the first movie, which is great. But why didn't they ask him to do one for the second movie? It would have taken him another five minutes to talk a little bit about Armageddon, and it would have been fine. But they didn't bother to let him do that, so they were just like, oh, Julian, just talk about the first movie. Don't talk about the second movie. We all know the second movie's not nearly as good as the first movie. But there's still a lot of cool stuff that could have been talked about. So I'm a little bit upset by that. I really I wish they'd done a little bit more with that. And of course, the third movie is essentially just all the features they already had. Because uh, who really cares as much about Warlock 3? Julian Sands isn't back. It's a totally different thing. It's, it's just not as good. So obviously, the Blu-ray itself. Still that excellent cover art on there. I'm, I'm quite a fan of all of these. I think that the Vestron art is really nice because it's enough of the movie that's on there because when they do the custom cover arts for like these collections and stuff like that it still really showcases the film without going kind of a little crazy with it and of course the back is uh, pretty identical to what was there so no reversible cover art I know in this day and age that's kind of almost it feels like a sin to not have reversible cover art on a collection but there is no cover art so you have the discs for Warlock and Warlock 2 and 3 I don't know, I've mentioned this uh, before. I really hate when things have the same artwork. I, I get it, it's a set, but I really would have preferred probably, you know, could have used the classic white with uh, Julian Sands with the shadow behind him as the disc art for this one and maybe something, you know, split cover of the two posters. Because those are, they're really good posters that obviously prominently feature Julian Sands and Bruce Payne. So I think it'd be really cool to have seen that. The discs art as they are are just a little bit disappointing to me obviously it's a warlock on blu-ray am i really going to complain that much about it no but like i said there was a lot of missed opportunity i feel for this set i obviously have not watched this yet as i literally just opened it moments ago but i've heard the transfers are better i mean obviously we've only really had dvd things and a few imports here and there uh, along the line but as far as i know warlock 2 it was great looking three probably going to be good as it's the newer of the three and they, they put a lot of work into the first one which that's the one that really matters you said still really upset that no one asked julian sands to do any commentary for the second movie and honestly i would have loved just a julian sands commentary track about the first and second movie i don't care if you just sat there and said i really like this scene that was fun i remember that oh yeah oh hey that happened I, I would have been totally fine with that, but we didn't get that, so, you know, one of these days, Julian Sands will just sit down and be like, you know, that Blu-ray of Warlock, that was a missed opportunity. But overall, it's obviously, like I said, it's the brand new from Vestron, just came out this week. It's great to have these movies. I feel they're very underrated in the horror genre, because Julian Sands, I, I wonder how many times I've said this so far. I, I want to get like a running tally of Julian Sands of how many times I said his name in this video. But it's just perfect. I love Warlock. I could honestly watch it over and over again without any hesitation. But Warlock 2 with that kid from PCU, I don't really like him very much. And just Warlock 3 is just... It's not the same. So, I mean, hey, if you want to make more Warlock movies with Julian Sands, I know he's not doing all that much. So, that's kind of the big thing for this week. Uh, obviously, I love those movies. I'm glad to finally have them on Blu-ray. And hopefully, the unboxing was fun enough for you to just, you know, 
sit back and watch and say, yeah, where's my Julian Sands Warlock 2 commentary? I'll leave you with that thought. All right. Of course, we are on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Snapchat, pretty much everywhere that you could want. Just make sure to follow us on there. Subscribe down below, and I think there's a notification bell somewhere down there, too. Make sure you hit that so you know next time we upload. And uh, that'll be it for me. I'm Zach with the Midnight Jamboree. Keep it cool, everybody.